and gentlemen, TNA Impact, live, Monday night, first time going head-to-head, -to -head, well, let me rephrase that, second time going head-to-head -head with WWE Raw on Monday night. I did not watch WWE Raw tonight. Uh, I had no interest in seeing Chris Angel and what he had in store. Um, the only way I probably would watch it is if he made John Cena disappear, but uh, TNA Impact is in the record books, the first TNA Impact, and I'm kind of got mixed emotions about it. Um, it was no doubt probably better than Raw, but I can't really make that, assum uh, that assessment uh, since I didn't watch Raw, but uh, TNA Impact in the books. Uh, Hulk Hogan in Abyss versus Ric Flair and AJ Styles in the main event. Um, leading into the Impact tonight, there was a they was hyping the first five minutes of Impact. Uh, going live tonight and how uh, there was going to be surprises and whatnot. Uh, the only surprise, I guess, or, or surprise in their book was uh, Sting returning, turning on Hulk Hogan and Abyss, and pretty much helping Ric Flair and, and AJ Styles bloody up Hulk Hogan and Abyss. Uh, not really that big of a surprise. Uh, I could have thought of something better, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, it might have been better if, you know, they they debuted one of the, the new acquisitions of tonight, but uh, they didn't do go that route, but they did debut, do, debut him later uh, this evening. Uh, the X Division title match, Kazarian versus Daniels versus Doug Williams, uh, was a decent match, uh, to say the least. Uh, we have the debut of Shannon Moore. In TNA, who is getting a X Division title shot at the Destination X pay-per-view, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I think I'd rather see Doug Williams, or or even an, an Ultimate X match itself to see, because um, because technically they could still do the Ultimate X match since they saw the four-sided ring. They could still do the the X uh, wire rope across the the ring. Uh, I think I'd really rather see an X-Division Ultimate X match for the X-Division title at Destination X for that. But uh, we, we won't be getting that, it looks like. But we do have Shannon Moore versus Doug Williams. Uh, the next match that I could think of, we have new TNA Knockouts Tag Team Champions and the Beautiful People. Daphne uh, makes her, I guess, return. I, I've not got to watch wrestling the past few weeks on TNA. And I've not really watched Raw because I've, I've had other better things to do uh, than watch Raw anyway. And really, I don't know if Daphne just kind of come back tonight or what, but uh, it looks like she's going to be starting up a feud with Tara, which I think has potential to be a, a good feud, and those two could have a good match. Uh, the beautiful people picking up the Tag Team Knockout titles after they've been vacated. Uh, of course, also Colin being released from TNA, uh, that would be part of the reason. Uh, so I'm kind of curious as to what they're going to do with Hamada now that Awesome Kong is, is gone from the company. And the next thing that stands out in my mind was the Sting versus Rob da Rob Van Dam, who debuted in TNA tonight, uh, which it was good to see Rob Van Dam back, but the, his debut I think could have been handled a little bit better. Uh, he did beat Sting in a quick match um, I would have liked to see more in this match because it's RVD versus Sting and it's one of those matches where I don't recall ever having seen that match and it would have been a good opportunity for them to have a good match out of this and they didn't do that um, of course afterwards Sting going crazy uh, in, in attacking RVD uh, attacking Hulk Hogan one one issue I did have with Impact tonight was the, the security aspect of it. Security was holding everybody back, including Hulk Hogan, which, honestly, Hulk Hogan is kind of running the show, so to say, and he could have honestly told security just to, to back off. Eric Bischoff told security to back off, and Eric Young and Sean Waltman had a match, which was, was a decent... I don't want to necessarily say time filler, but it was a good addition to the show. Um, the main event, of course, Abyss and Hulk Hogan versus AJ Styles and Ric Flair. This was 
okay at at best. Um, I really had no interest in seeing John Cena versus Vince McMahon. I'd rather watch Abyss and Hulk Hogan versus AJ Styles and Ric Flair. Even though Ric Flair was making a in ring return, uh, I was kind of torn on that fact too. It it's good to see Rick in there. But I'd rather not see him in a wrestling capacity. I'd rather I liked him in that mentor role, which he still technically has. But he is kind of one upped it with now in a wrestling match, and and I think that I don't want to necessarily say it has hurt his retirement match against Shawn Michaels, but it certainly has not helped it. So um, overall impact, I thought was. A, a decent showing. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. Um, I did watch Cheech and Chong last week on Raw. Why, I don't know, and I'm still complaining about that to various people here on campus, but uh, the guest host thing is, ju is just getting old altogether anyway, and, and TNA is something new, and that's why I enjoy watching it. It's something new. It's something different, and that could be argued to an extent with you, the viewers and the fans and all that, given the fact that, you know, you have, like, Hulk Hogan's and, you know, your Ric Flair's, you got your RVD's coming in, you got your Kurt Angle's, who, who actually had an interesting segment tonight with Mr. Anderson, uh, with the Army, U.S. Army troops, and they all beat up on Anderson, so, I, I like where that storyline's going, I think they're using Mr. Anderson in a good capacity in that storyline, um, he's getting over, he's getting the heat from the fans and all that, so I, I think that's that's been done well so far. Uh, but overall, Impact as a whole was a, a decent show at best. Uh, it could improve quite a bit, so I'm kind of interested in seeing where they're going to go next week with this entire Impact on Monday thing. Uh, and next week, I'm not sure who the guest host is going to be. Uh, and I really don't care, to be quite honest with you. So uh, that's my thoughts on Impact. Let me know what you thought of Impact. Uh, if you watch Raw, let me know what you thought of Raw as well in the comments below or in the video response. So uh, you guys, take it easy. Good to be back here for this brief time that I am back. Uh, I don't know if I'll do this each week, but I'll try to get them up whenever I can. Uh, not going to make any promises. So you guys, take it easy. Have a great night. Peace out.